Hi everyone, welcome back to Prakashan Tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss about example of probability distribution function or cumulative distribution function. What value must the constant k should have in order that the probability density function fx of x is equal kx per x is equal 0 to 2 and fx of x is equal to 0 elsewhere is the density function of a continuous distribution find the corresponding cumulative distribution function so given that the probability density function is there and what is the probability density function from the given data fx of x is equal to kx for x is equal to 0 to 2 and fx of x is equal to 0 elsewhere. It is, uh, uh, is the de this density function of a, the, uh, this, uh, this is the density function of a continuous distribution. So find out the corresponding cumulative distribution function. So first find, uh, it is a valid density function. First find out the constant k value using area under the area under the probability density function is equal to unity so using that expression find out constant k value so we know that We know that area under probability density function that is integral minus infinity to infinity fx of x dx is equal to 1. So using this expression first find out the constant k value integral minus infinity to infinity. So given that given that the probability density function given that the probability density function fx of x is equal to kx for x is equal to 0 to 2 the given interval is 0 to 2 in this interval the density function value is kx 0 to 2 is equal to 1. So k is constant that is written before integration k integral 0 to 2 x dx is equal to 1. Integral x dx is x square by 2 over 0 to 2 is equal to 1. So on LHS side, substitute upper value and lower value of x, we get k into 2 square is 4 minus 0 square is 0 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 2k is equal to 1, k is equal to 1 by 2. So this is the value density function. The value of the k is uh, the value of k is 1 by 2. So next find out the cumulative distribution function. So we know that the cumulative distribution function in terms of probability density function is fx of x is equal fx of x is equal integral minus infinity to x fx of x into dx so this is the standard expression this is the relation between distribution function and density function so now here we can determine tdf fx of x is equal now here what is the density function from the given data from the given data the density function is kx kx now here 
x value start from 0 according to definition of the distribution function the range is start from minus infinity now here the density function fx of x is equal to kx now x value start from 0 0 and final value is as it is same here and what is the final value x final value is x that final value is as it is same fx of x is equal k into integral x dx is x square by 2 over 0 to x fx of x is equal on RHS side substitute upper value and lower value of x we get k into x square by 2 minus 0 by 2 fx of x is equal but k is equal to 1 by 2 substitute the k value we get the distribution function fx of x is equal to x square by 4 so therefore therefore the cumulative distribution function is fx of x is equal to 0 for x less than 0 and fx of x is equal to x squared by 4 for x is equal to 0 to 2 and fx of x is equal to 1 for x greater than 2. So this type of the model is 100% expected model problem in exam point of view.